to launch in France. Do you hear me well? It's okay? She presented to Google Shop, you recently launched in France, and talked to you about the new things coming up in the US that didn't come yet to Europe, but are already live in, in the US. So before I start talking about Google Shopping, it's very important to have in mind our mission. So Google's mission is to organize the world's information and make it universally accessible and useful. Why is it so important to have this mission in mind? Because simply, Google Shopping is part of this mission. As all the, all the other uh, search engines, as news for example, nowadays if you type Barack Obama, you're going to have news results coming up. If you type Eiffel Tower or monuments, you're going to have images coming up. And all these, all these tools are actually vertical search engines. You can exceed them independently, but they will also show up in the universal search. So this is what we call universal search. And it's going to be the same, it is the same in some countries for shopping. So if you type TV, LCD, or, or camera, you're going to get this kind of results. Shopping results for. Okay, let's demonstrate with the demo. So if I'm a, let's say I'm a web user and I'm searching for a TV, LCD, LCD TV. I will go on my favorite web search, Google, and type LCD TV. Among the results for LCD TV, there is paid search at the beginning and then natural search. Inside the natural search, if I scroll down, scroll down, sorry. LCD TV. It must never work. <laughs> Should work. Ah. <laughs> Let's work with Nikon. Okay. okay, here I have. So if I tap, uh, um, it doesn't work for every query, obviously. If I type D Nikon D90, I will have paid search at the beginning and then natural search that you all know. And inside the natural search, we have the shopping results search that comes up. If I think that this natural search result is the most appropriate to my query and to my search, I can have more information and click here. On this page, I will arrive on the product page, what we call a product page. This page aggregates all the information we have on the Nikon D90. So we have, at the top, you can see the description, very generic description. Like the, the, the star, it's a crawling information about the, the, the product crawling the web, on the web. If you crawl down, we have information of e-shoppers that sell the product online. So we have Amazon, John Lewis, Bristol Camera, as direct. They sell the product online. And if I click on this deep link here, I will arrive direct on the web page of Amazon on the page product and I can buy the product. This to be to, to appear here as a merchant is totally free. You just have to upload your product fee on our on our uh, interface called Google Merchant Center. So on this uh, compare price section you have the sellers, you also have condition and information of delivery and you have the price. I can order by price if I want to see the cheapest one, or by delivery if I only want, only want to see free delivery product. If I continue to crawl down, I have the reviews. Reviews can be of two different types. Editorial reviews, this is different uh, partnership that we do with editorial website. We do it in the UK and, and we will soon have some uh, deal signed in France as well. And also, you will have what we call partner reviews. So you don't, you don't see one here, but what we do for partner reviews, we sign a deal, for example, in France with Boulanger, in UK with Comet. We sign a specific, specific deal. They will provide us with a, a review feed, and we will show their review and their logo on our review page, on this page. So this is a great visibility for the, for the brand as well. If I continue to scroll down, I will have the details information, that's a very specific defi definition of the product. 
And I will also have a YouTube video that I'll probe also that can demonstrate the product I'm interested in. So this product page also provides similar items based on our algorithm. So on this product page, I have all the information I can, I can find on the web in order to take my purchase decision and in order to be redirect to merchant website. And this product page, we will see after with Lucia and myself, evaluates a lot, and we are integrating new features a lot. But before talking about evolutions, let's talk just a little bit about the launching France. I know you are a more international audience, but we are proud of our launch, so let's talk a little about it. It was the first launch worldwide of Google Shopping. So you maybe heard about Google Shopping before in the US, UK, and Germany, where the product exists since some time. But in these countries, it was not a real launch because Google Shopping was more likely an evolution of Frugal. So in France, we didn't have Frugal, so it was a real launch. And we are very happy because our job is to get in touch with partners. And for the launch, we had all main partners in. They were in, they participate, they give us all their, their product information, and it allowed us to have a very good coverage on products too since the launching. Uh, for, the, for the launching, we had, a, we had a very good press coverage in B2B that allows us to reach all smaller websites we want to have in our base. Because I, as I said before, our mission is to organize the world's information and make it accessible and useful for everybody. And this means all information, not only the ones coming from the biggest websites, but also the smaller ones. France counts uh, 70K websites, e-commerce websites, so we would like to have a better coverage as possible. And just to make sure uh, this is clear, Google Shopping is natural search. So it's not paid, and it's algorithm. So it's, a, it's the same as news, images, and the other search engines. <coughs> so now we can talk a little about what's new in, in, in the US. So let's have a, have a look on, on, on the tendencies on the trends in the US. We talk a lot about local shopping. Why do we talk so much about local shopping? mainly because of the uh, behavior of customers. So they search, all of us, we search online before purchasing offline. And this is, is becoming more and more a behavior. So even if most of the purchases actually happen in store, we people who buy it, e-customers, we search a lot online before, before buying uh, in store. And this means that web influences a lot on in-store purchases. Indeed, search and buy is not easy, so shopping is not easy. We have first to find our needs. It can be, let's say, the camera, the Nikon D90, my head showed you before. Then, once we found this camera, because I have, let's say that I'm going to have a trip in Maldives, and I would like to have a camera. So, I identify my need, it's a camera, and then I have to, to research about this camera. Know the price, is it, is it, is it compatible with my accessories, it fits with my budget and things like that. And once we decide this, and this happened a lot online, we have to actually buy it. And the, the purchasing uh, action can happen online or offline. So local shopping, if, if we should have a um, definition of local shopping, it would be integrate physical stores data to the online user experience, both desktop and mobile. Even if mobile would be the uh, the main part of this local shopping because we would like to have information when we go, uh, whatever we are. Desktop is also uh, a good example. So let's let's see let's see in practical terms <coughs> what's happening in the U.S. So let's see that let's say that you go to Google.com and then you choose the American conversion because it's only live in the U.S. That's why we are not doing a demo. To, to, to make sure you understand, this is really just in the US. It's not, it didn't come yet to Europe. So let's say that you'd search for HP printer. Then you're going to have the same results as we had in the French version or the UK version or German version. But we're going to have this small link here called nearby source. If we click, if we click on this link, we're going to get this window, which is the window that shows all information about this product nearby. Not online, but nearby. This same window will be integrated to the product page Maria Street showed you before. So, next slide. Yeah. 
So here is the product page to show you before. In Europe, we have this part, which is the online stores. And now, in these states, we have also the nearby stores. Meaning that here, the idea is, if you are a consumer, if you, if you are trying to buy this TV, then we are going to give you all the information about this TV, meaning the description, the picture, the online stores, but also the, the availability offline. And maybe you have a store just next to your door selling this TV, and if you need it for tonight because it's the World Cup, then you're going to be able to buy it offline too. But sometimes we need a product right away. So the example of the World Cup doesn't fit very much because to buy a TV, we take our time. But let's say that tonight I have dinner with friends and I would like to bake them a cake. Then I bought all ingredients and they're going to come in two hours. And I just realized I have no special to make my cake. So I can simply go to google.com google slash shopping if I was in the US in San Francisco, New York, and city in the US, because we cannot do it in, in Europe. Then I could, I could choose special and tick this box here called In Stock Nearby, and then get just the stores selling specials nearby my house. Then I could buy my, my special and bake my cake. This great functionality also in the US are uh, available on mobile. We will show you two examples, example on the web search and example on the app. So on the web search, as you know, many people are starting their search, their, their mobile <coughs> internet session by a search. And to respond to this search, we have the exact same experience on mobile. With some difference is that if I type LCD TV and the shopping results appear on my mobile, if I'm, for example, on the street, in the sh on the mountain view on the street, and I want to buy this TV, and I want to see where around me I can find this TV, in which shop, I can type TV LCD TV and see on the result that I have in stock nearby a TV available. If I click on this information on my mobile, I will be redirected to the shop session and I will see uh, the shop, shop page, sorry, and I could see that in Sears in Mountain View, there is a TV available at this price with the, the time of the shop, the time opening of the shop. The click to call available, so I can call them right away and say, please hold this TV for me because I'm coming in five minutes. And also, you can have get direction to have the direction from maps. So this is a real good experience for the mobile shoppers. How many of you do you know Shopper, the application available in the US and in UK? Not many, some, okay. We're gonna show you the, the, exam the video of this application. This application is available in the US and the, in the UK. What it does, it, it really facilitates information about products. It's available on Android. And what you will do is that you will use your mobile. If you're, for example, I'm at Lucia's house for the <coughs> baking cake session, and I, I see our spatula and I want to buy it, I could take the picture of the product and be redirect to a product page of the spatula and have information about it. Let's watch the video. Hi, I'm Daniel Sukin, a software engineer at Google. I'd like to tell you about a new product we've been working on. It's called Google Shopper. It lets you find products by cover art, barcodes, and voice search. Check it out. Just point your phone at a book, CD, or DVD cover, and Shopper will recognize it. You don't even need to press a button. And here we go. Here's a list of search results. You can tap on one to get prices, reviews, and specs about that item. For other kinds of products, you can just point your phone at its barcode. But what if there is no barcode, or you're not in a store? Just say what you're looking for, and we can probably find it for you. Blu-ray player. When you want to save a product for later, just click the start and save it to your shopping list. You can also visit the history screen to run a search again, or see products you've already viewed. And don't worry if you have an AP network connection. The products you've seen are saved on your phone, so they're available anytime. Google Shopper is available now on all Android devices. Try it the next time you're out shopping. Okay, we have it on our Android phone if you want a live demo after the session.
But Google Shop is not just about content, it's also about, about navigability. So I don't know if you, if you heard about it, but we've just launched new features in the Google Shop in US version. So I would like to just show you some of them. This is the new home page of Google Shopping in the US. So the database is the same, but we are showing the products differently. Here we are going to have the most popular products of Google Shopping in the US, and this will be algorithm too. So we are going to show like some ideas, because sometimes we just start shopping, and we don't know exactly what we need. So it was the very first phase of shopping, uh, identify, identify our needs. So here, the idea is to show some examples just to help the users to identify their needs. We also have some holiday gifts guides and some seasonal stuff. So for the seasonal stuff, for example, for the seasonal stuff, for example, I'm sorry, uh, we're going to have winter, winter products. So skiing or, I don't know, clothing, all stuff for winter. It's going to be the same in summertime. These are some tests we're doing in, in order to to identify the user's need because the whole Google Shopping experience is based on user experience. So we really want to give to the user a better search results. And so this goes also through the navigation. So this uh, is the new homepage in the US. And in the US, we are also developing new ways to show search results in Google Shopping. So this is, this is the search results page for Google Shopping in the US. And if you remember, the Google Shopping Results page in Europe are the top 10 products. So we have 10 products. We have 10 products, micros. We have 10 products and just this. In the US, we are giving some priority for the top five. So for the top five, we are going to get big pictures, better description, and a rank, one to five. Then, we are also helping the user to, to shop by material. Because for example, if I buy a kettle, maybe I would prefer to get, to get just stainless steel kettle because of my decoration, because of my kitchen. But if I buy a TV, then I would prefer to get it by size. 32 inch, 46 inches, and so on and so forth. Shop also by feature. So this is something new in the US too, about what the product does um, actually. And then the bottom five that before had the same value as the top five will appear in the bottom of the page. Like if you didn't find the product you need in the top five, then you can search in the bottom five. These are new stuffs uh, just launched in, in the US, I think it was last week. Uh, by the way, local shopping was launched um, less than a month ago in the US, so all this stuff are very new. If you didn't heard about it, it's normal, it's just because it's very new. Things to remember if you if you want to, to to go home with the three aspects of this presentation should be Google <coughs> Shopping is part of the universal search, but natural search. We are talking about algorithms. We are just trying to better organize information on the e-commerce, but it's still it's organic results. Google Shopping aggregates all information around products that are available. So we would like to have as much information as we can, meaning that we would like to reach all long tail partners too. And local shopping was recently launched in, in sorry, was recently launched in the US, not in France yet. And it was launched because of the user behavior global research online purchasing offline. So we are just trying to integrate this, this dimension to the uh, to the search experience. And our e-commerce strategy also includes ads and the advertisement format. So we launched in France yesterday and in Germany as well, and it was already launched in the UK and in the US, what we call product extension ads. So you see here that you are on sponsorized link, and product extension ads are based on the feed that the merchant gives us in the merchant center. So what you see is that when you type hard driver, you will have, I speak louder, can you hear? You will have here a plus box that opens 
a window, and in this window you will have you will have the products that are available in your feed, linked to the to the query of the of the web user. So that's product extension available now in France. And on the next one, on the next one is what we call product listing ads, not launched yet in France and in Europe, launched in the US. And what you have here is that the ad is already created by Google, and you just you just as an advertiser, say, I have HP, HP printer, and I want my feed to be seen on the ads here. And inside the ads, you will have three merchants on the CPC base and on the quality score base appearing under the image and the description. So that was our presentation of Google Shopping. Do you have any questions? <coughs> yes. Dates of launch in all non Anglo Saxon European countries? Yes, good question. We are um, we are now looking at the um, Spain, Italy, and Netherlands. So these are the next country we would like to launch. When? We don't have a date yet, unfortunately. But we are talking to partners right now. <coughs> yes, on the object page, you sort the merchants by relevance. Yeah. yeah. What? How does it work? What relevance is that? Okay, so relevancy is the uh, black box of Google, right? <laughs> for all search, all search products. But for Google Shopping, okay, so I think this deserves some explanation on how we trigger the results. So the first, the, the first, the first part is when you are in the universal search. When you are in the universal search, when you type Canon, we have to trigger this uh, shopping results for. This will be organic results. So we are going to see if the query fits to the e-commerce uh, e product, then we will show as news and the others. Then once we are in the page, and this is your question, we are going to base, yeah. Okay, so when you are here, we are going to base this first results, because this still is not the, uh, it's not the retailer yet. <coughs> These are the search results for products. So these first results will be triggered by relevancy of the product itself, meaning, Lots of black box stuff, but can be also if you, if you want to think about what we will need. First, we have to have this product in base because otherwise we're not going to show. We have to have some sellers selling this product, and then we're going to have other stuff uh, coming from navigation and behavior of the user. That we are not going to go into details, but it's going to be based on the user experience and the user behavior. Then I think your question was more likely about this page, right? So this page. <laughs> Okay. So this page, it's about the um, the relevancy will be also lots of black box stuff. But one of the informations we really need, and this is logical, is the quality of the information the retailer gives gives to us. So this will be the quality of the feed. So the, if the retailer is giving us information as uh, the title, but the title is very very well done, and then if he he tells us that this product is actually a camera, and then the price, and then if they give us lots of pictures, then we can consider this feed as very qualified. So this is one of the main criteria of relevancy. Then there are others we cannot talk about, but this one is up to the retailer. So I think it's, it's good to, to share this information like this. All retailers can give us the best information they can, because this will help them on ranking. Yeah. Um, yeah. Is this only for physical products or would this be for travel products, for example, for, for flights, for um, packages? It's not only for uh, it's not only for physical products, but travel uh, we need to have uh, a product with a final price. So travel wouldn't be any. But let's say PDF version of a product can be in because they have a fixed price. Yeah. Or software. Or software. Yeah. You go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can you tell us more important our ratings for retailers in the shopping? This uh, ratings? Yes. Um, it's part of the um, of the ranking. So we, we these rankings, these uh, ratings here are crawled by Google on the web, and it's not uh, linked to the feed of the mer merchant. 
directly. So it's, it's, it's important for the web user, but it's not important as the ranking on the, on the compare price section. And it's, I wanted to add as well that it's pure SEO. So all the information of, of ranking, we can help partners to optimize their feed, but we, we don't have the secret of the ranking. Hey, how, how do you actually get the data from the physical stores and make it searchable? Okay, so in the States, uh, we are we launched it with some testers, some uh, testers like some some brands that are partners with us, and we work a lot on development with them. So it's a lot of time in our end and their end, and they have to provide us with very much lots of information and very very well updated. The way we do this is very technical. I don't know if you if you're interested in this, but for the moment, what we are going to have is other kind of things for fiscal stores. I mean. But you actually need relations with each individual retailer for local shopping. Yes. Yeah, for local shopping, yes. For for Google for Google shopping, no, because but for local shopping, yes. Yeah. Yeah, question. Is there any unique content on your product page? Meaning? Well, comparing to others? I mean, is, is that just product information and rating just crawled from the web, or do you produce any unique content? No, we, we don't produce any content. It's not our job at Google. We don't, there's, I mean, at Google we do search engines, and if we go back to the mission, is to organize words information, not to create the information. So, no. Yes? I can't hear you. Can you repeat again? Sorry? Information of the site from the from the merchant. I am. I am. Yeah. Uh, we what we get from the merchant are the product feeds, and what we can get also are the review feeds. Apart from that, it's for the moment and and what Google, uh, Lucia showed on Google.com. We also get information from the maps Google addresses. Apart from that, for the moment, we don't we don't uh, get any more information. But in the U.S., in the U.S., as they have some new stuff uh, earlier than us, they have some some new features for organic search that talks to the reviews part of Google Shopping and shows stars. So maybe if you go to Google.com in the English version and then you 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 do some searches, you will maybe see some stars in the organic results. And this comes from a specific tag tagging plan in the website. It's the rich snippets. But it's not launching yet in, in Europe. That's why we didn't show to, to set the expectations here. Other questions? So a bit, a bit about the, the, the timing of the launches. So Google Products is now live in France. It will be live in a couple of months in some other European countries. Um, and the, that's in the organic search, right? Or that's the, yeah. and the commercial option you show. Yeah. When is that gonna launch? So we have product extension, what we showed on the, here. Mm. Here, product extension is, uh, <coughs> so product extension is, long, is now live in Germany, in France, in UK, and in the US. And for listing ads, we don't have date of launching in, in Europe yet. But it's for sure that uh, our strategy includes also ads. And, and, and merchants can use the same product feeds exactly. in, the, in the CPC option. Exactly, yeah. They actually, to be uh, very, uh, to very explain clearly, they go in, inside the AdWords account, if you do have an AdWords account. And if you do have an AdWords account and a Merchant Center account, in AdWords, you go to extension tab and you say, this is my, mer my merchant center account, please link it to my campaigns. 
And just for information, this new format was launched in France recently, like this week. Some that are very, very important, and just to just just as information, it's the ones that appear in the beginning of the uh, specifications page, and the rest uh, are not that important. And we don't use payment notes attributes in uh, in, the, in the European uh, for Google Shopping. Checkouts is unlinked to uh, to Google Shopping, completely unlinked. In the US, we j the only functionality we have um, about about checkout is to show to the user which websites have checkout, but nothing happened through checkout in Google Shopping. the mobile version, you have a shopping list uh, function. Do you have that? Is it uh, multi-channel also on the web? The mobile, yeah, the mobile version is available only in the US for the moment, the, the search. And it's the shopping list. You can do it as well in the US, yeah, on the web. On the web. Yeah. It's not functioning yet. And yeah, we also have the US blog. That, um, that tell you and us also all the new features that we have in the US. And it's the Merchant Center blog. So if you want to look at that, you have a lot of info. The, the search results page just becomes much more messy with this format. How do uh, users react to that? This format? Well, this this format? format combined with the image search and the shopping search, and it becomes much more messy user experience. Um, about this format? When it comes when it comes up, this window is closed. So just to, to see the products, you have to open the window and then see the products. So for the moment, about the results, as the results are speak better than than than, us, than we can. Results are being very good for. I mean, the uh, the feedbacks from retailers are very positive. So uh, I can I imagine that for the users, they are happy with this furniture, but. For the moment, in France, we just launched it a month ago, so it's difficult to, <coughs> to measure any impact. Uh, did you get any negative feedback from US retailers? And about the ad formats or about the shopping? About the shopping thing? Not that we are aware of, no. Any more questions? Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.